it's Gary Spain here for Irish Football Fan TV with P Mount United's Alana McAvoy uh, as we look forward to the crucial Champions League game against Spartak from Serbia. Alana, can you give me your thoughts on Europe. Um, well, it's going to be some challenge. I'm really excited for it. Um, all the girls are up for it, and we're really looking forward to it. So we're just going to see how it goes. And Europe is a full-time professional outfit. Is that going to change your, your thinking? Um, of course, it's going to be tough because they'll they'll be full. They're full time. Um, they're going to be fit. They're going to be very good. But as far as we know that we can just go out and just play our football and put it up to them and don't think too much into it and just go game by game and just take it as a normal game and we should be alright playing our football. You came so close against Glasgow last season, so unlucky really. Uh, can you take a lot from that game? Um, oh, it was tough. Uh, obviously 120 minutes we went to nil all um, and I went to penalties. It was a harsh way of losing. Um, but obviously we still got a bit of confidence I think from that because uh, I thought we'd done very well considering they would be more professional than we'd be and no one I think expected us to even get that far they all everyone expected us to lose and I think that's what it was but yeah we got I'd say we got a lot of confidence from that and we know what it's like to play in this kind of um, match so yeah no I think we'll be grand we'll go out and be confident. And 50 years ago your grandfather actually played in Europe and uh, as many people will know Andy McAvoy, Lord Reston was a, a superstar of Irish football. Uh, I'm sure looking down from wherever he'd be so proud of you. Yeah, no, I hope to. Um, I hope that he's proud. I'm trying to make my family proud in everything I do in, in terms of football. Um, yeah, he's a big inspiration to me. Just uh, I look up to him a lot and he's inspired me to go on and be who I am today. And do, you're a, a goal scorer just like him? <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm as good as him now. Um, but yeah. Okay, and uh, if you did get get through against Spartak, you'd be facing FC20, an incredibly strong Dutch side. Could you even think about playing them? <laughs> um, of course, they'll be very strong, and it'd be great to win. Once we we're going to focus on the first game, of course, and hopefully when we get the win, then we'll focus on the next. Um, yes, it'll be tough, but again, we'll just take it by game, uh, game by game, and go into it and just go in with some confidence and go in and just play our football. Can I ask you about the title race? It's nip and tuck there with shells. You, you were level until Wexford, I think, did you a big favour last weekend. Um, yeah. Still very close. Yeah, um, obviously it's been a tough season. Um, of course, like last week we three games in one week and it's been tough. And we came out with the nine points and obviously Shelburne then slipped a bit. Um, obviously it did us a favour, but we can't think about that now because that can easily happen. There's still a good few games to go. Um, but we just need to keep going on and winning and then hopefully we'll lift the trophy again. And Wexford aren't out of a jest, they, could they still win? <laughs> they aren't, uh, that's why it's good about the league, it's not always just a one or two, just still three or four maybe that can be running for the title race, so we'll just see what happens. And has it been great having crowds back at the games in recent weeks? Um, yeah, it's, it has, uh, obviously we had that part missing um, and crowds can do you a bit of a favour, they're almost like the 11 man on the pitch. Um, it's great to have people there and your family and stuff. Obviously, it's tough for people watching at home when they can, they think that they could rather be there watching it. And it's yeah, it's great to see faces again around the pitch. And would you hope to have a big crowd in Green Oak for the Shells match next month? I'm sure they will, and I'm sure it will be a sellout. In fairness, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people there. Yeah. That's great. Thanks a lot.